y'all, what's up? So today is the day that I'm gonna propose to Taylor. She has no idea uh, what's been going on. I've been planning for like almost six months now. Hey baby, I just wanted to come on here. I was sitting here at this water phone out here in Memphis, Tennessee. You just hear writing the things I'm gonna say to you when I propose. And I just figured since I'm doing that, I would go ahead and document it and let you know that there's so much thought that's going into this. And I just want to make sure that today is special for you. I love you so much. Um, it's taken me months to write this and get every word perfect. Um, just to reflect my love for you and how perfect you are. But I just want to come on here and say that real quick. I feel free. I love you. And today is finally the day. It's super funny because we just kind of go about our day like it's a random Saturday that we always do go get breakfast, go to the gym, which is what we're about to do now, which is head to the gym. Um, so far, so good. She doesn't suspect anything. No one has told her anything. So it's gonna be a complete surprise and I'm super excited. I'm sweating really hard because it's hot, but I'm in a rush too because I don't want her to know what's going on. I'm getting gas. So we're about to go to uh, the gym. Y'all, I'm super excited for this day. Um, it's gonna be a good time, I'm excited. She's gonna be super surprised and super happy, so I just wanna go ahead and get to the gym so she doesn't start suspecting anything, and then I'll bring y'all along for this journey. It's gonna be a good time. I apologize if this is a choppy video. You know, I got a lot of anxiety, and <laughs> I'm trying to hurry up and get things done. I'm moving and grouping, but yeah, it's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna take y'all along for the journey. I'm gonna try to document as much of it as I can and get those special moments on camera, but y'all stay tuned, and I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, so it's almost time. It's almost go time. Um, like I said earlier, today's the day that I'm proposing to Taylor. I'm super excited. She still has no idea. It's actually gonna be pretty funny because she was having a meltdown about her outfit not too long ago. Uh, so it's gonna be pretty funny when she finds out that everything that's been happening has been happening for her. But I'm um, about to go pick her up so we can go to this party and um, get it going. So again, we still got a long ways to go. We still got to do the actual proposal. And we've got some other stuff too that we're going to share with you, I'm sure. We're going to get some of her thoughts as well. And then we're going to go from there. Uh, but it's going to be a fun night. I'm excited. I'm nervous. Uh, I'm trying not to be nervous, but I am nervous. And I mean, it's been a long time coming. I mean, I've been working on this for months. Uh, <laughs> And I'm just, I mean, I'm, I'm overjoyed, but uh, I'm nervous and I'm excited and I'm ready to, to get this part over with. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started because it's hot and I need some air, but I'll see y'all in a little bit. This is the first time I'm using this camera. I'm so excited to be talking to y'all on it. If you can tell, the quality is like A++. Um, <laughs> I'll get into that in a second, but my name is Taylor. Thank y'all for joining me. I love all things fashion, luxury, designer. If that's something that you're interested in, please feel free to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification button. You don't want to miss out. And um, today I'm wearing this Zimmerman dress. I'll share with y'all deets and some Bottega sandals with my white classic clip. Y'all, it was a journey for this dress, okay? Because I didn't know that it was an all white, I'm going to an all white housewarming party, dressy formal. Didn't know that it was all white and literally reached out to my Prada essay. Like my 
Mardi Gras typically in February or March. So January always has king cakes for my birthday. So I have my favorite um, king cake and Oreo cookies that I love and Capri Suns. <laughs> yeah, we painted. We had music. It was really, really nice. Also, it wasn't that cool <laughs> because it's New Orleans and it's January. So we could definitely have a picnic in January. <laughs> You love me? I do. Did you fall in love with me that day? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Which was really scary. <laughs> oh, I see that looks like your car. It is my car. And there is my mama. And your mama. My dad. Paul. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Nuh-uh. Don't know why they're here. Why? <laughs> Just today's idea. No, it's not. All of this has been for you. They're all here for us. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did Annie and them already know? She was in on it. There is no house for them. Oh. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> oh wow! Stay there with the door. Okay. Taylor, I love you. I get lost in time just looking into your eyes. You are my joy and my peace. You are truly heaven sent to me. I'm convinced that you are God's favorite angel because you are the most incredible, kind, loving, funniest, smartest, and most beautiful woman I've ever known. You are truly a beautiful soul. What has always been so beautiful about our relationship is that we get to just be ourselves with each other. It was clear to me that we are soulmates when we both fell in love at the very beginning. You once said to me, boy, I knew you were in love with me on our first date. <laughs> it is true. I was in love with you then and I grow even more in love with you every day and I'll love you even more tomorrow. You're my best friend and when I'm with you, nothing else matters. I'm extremely blessed and grateful that I get to experience a once in a lifetime boundless love like ours. I'll always love you, even when time stops and begins again. Baby, you are my greatest blessing, and if you'll marry me, I promise to always adore you, be your best friend, support you, protect you, pray with you, and pray for you. I promise to always treat you with love and love you like you are my greatest blessing. Taylor Alexandria Foe, will you marry me? Well, I was really, really, really shocked because my grandma, I guess, had thrown me off. She told me that I was going to be getting engaged Christmas Day or like sometime in December. I'm like, oh, I got time. <laughs> I got time um, to get my lace fixed. I got time to like lose some weight <laughs> before the proposal. So when we pull up and he's like, oh, when I said, that looks like your car. It's like, oh, it is. And all these people are here for us. I'm like, no, <laughs> wait, it's not December. <laughs> I was really taken aback because I, I was really lied to. And no one, no one told me anything. Like no one ruined it. I had absolutely no idea, none. Pulling up to City Park, I was actually, I thought it was pretty funny how you were recording a video thinking that you were going to the party, uh, going to the housewoman party that didn't exist. So I was pretty joked out internally about that. And then um, I was getting nervous because I was getting closer. 
and also was getting text messages from people that was there saying that they don't know where to go. So I'm just kind of just wondering, just hoping that everything falls into place how it's supposed to. And then of course, just the, the jitters was kicking in. I was getting nervous because I was about to ask the love of my life to marry me. I mean, I knew you were gonna say yes, but still just nervous. Uh, yeah, just super nervous. So, so when I was blindfolded, before the surprise part, like I was thinking like something crazy, like, oh, is he about to drive up to a house and tear him from the house at this point? And then when we get to the party and they said surprise. <laughs> Emotional and just happy, so I feel like I did my part. <laughs> 